Hey, Alien Hour fans, this episode is going to be part two in my series about my international adventures from the end of 2019. In October of 2019, I had the opportunity to travel to Northern Ireland and uh, conduct investigations and check out a number of very cool uh, paranormal spots. I'm going to be covering all of my Northern Ireland adventures in the next uh, four to six episodes. I'm still seeing how some things shake out, how long uh, some of these episodes need to be, but it'll be about four to six episodes of Northern Ireland. I'll probably sprinkle some other things in there uh, just to mix it up. In our first series, which is going to be two episodes, I travel to a mysterious red sandstone tower in the town of Cushendall in the glens of Antrim in Northern Ireland. This red sandstone tower is known as the Curfew Tower and is not normally open to the public, but I was able to obtain special permission to enter and spend a night in the dungeon of the Curfew Tower conducting a ghost investigation. In the first episode, I'm going to just take you on a tour of the tower and, and walk you through, which is going to be really cool because, again, this is not something that you can go and see. Even if you made it to Cushendall yourself, you would not be able to go into the Curfew Tower. So it's a really unique opportunity to see the inside. And then in the second part, which hopefully will come out next week, depending on how long our editing team takes, we're going to do the all-night uh, lockdown in the dungeon ghost investigation where we got some very... Uh, creepy and interesting information. So definitely check that out. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. There's going to be all kinds of great Northern Ireland content coming your way. We're doing haunted churches, hidden villages, and lots of other surprises. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. You won't want to miss any of this. And with that, I take you to the Curfew Tower in Cushendall, Northern Ireland. The Curfew Tower. Built in the early 1800s, around 1820 or so, the Curfew Tower was constructed by a man named Francis Turnley. And he constructed the tower to be a place to imprison what he referred to as idlers and rioters. Now, I don't know if I consider myself either an idler or a rioter. However, tonight, I, Dr. Howard, for Alien Hour, am going to be locked in the dungeon of the Curfew Tower, where once idlers and rioters would have been locked. Right now, we're going to do a tour. I'm going to, um, I'm going to magically warp to the, the top of the tower. And then we're going to come down the five stories of the tower of Turnley's Curfew Tower in Cushendall, Northern Ireland, all the way to the bottom to the dungeon so that we see the dungeon last. Give you a little bit more of the history of the structure and the town. And tonight on Alien Hour, when I'm locked in the dungeon, we're going to find out once and for all if the Curfew Tower is haunted. I'm Dr. Howard, and it's Alien Hour. In order to get onto the roof of the curfew tower, we need to open this trap door, which is made out of lead and weighs about 100 pounds. To open the trap door, you climb up this rickety ladder, and then you kind of position your arms underneath the, the trap door and then just heave your body as hard as you can and hope that you flip the trap door open onto the top of the roof of the curfew tower. So you'll see me here climbing, climbing the ladder and flipping the trap door open. And then I'm going to talk a little bit on the roof of the tower and then I will come back down and you can kind of see how, uh, how precarious it is to get on and off the roof of the tower. I'm here on top of the curfew tower. You can see Lurig Mountain behind me 
and the peaceful town of Cushendal below. But as we descend down into this tower built in the 1800s, this five-story tower built to imprison rioters and idlers, what we have to ask ourselves is, is there any peace for the spirits of those who were imprisoned within? Dr. Howard here. I made it back. Whew, made it back into the into the tower. As you can see, that was a little uh, a little dicey, but we made it. So the curfew tower is a five story tower. Right now we are on the uh, the fifth floor. Um, if you could see before, it's kind of the whole thing is at a is at an angle. So so the top room is the smallest room. It's really really small. It's um one of the one of the two bedrooms. Uh, trap door that I just came through is right there so we're gonna be we're gonna start here and begin the descent down into the dungeon of the curfew tower where I will be locked in for an entire night attempting to contact the spirits of the idlers and rioters who were imprisoned in the curfew tower in the 1800s okay so I'm going to turn the camera around, but I'm going to keep narrating and we're going to go down. We're going to go down the, um, the five flights of stairs. and I'll show you the inside of the tower and the dungeon last of all. All right. So we're, we are going to begin our descent down five stories to the dungeon of the curfew tower. The stairs are extremely narrow and uh, somewhat treacherous. The fourth fourth story contains another bedroom, very small, like the one on top. Little model of the tower to show you where we are. So we started on the roof, top bedroom, second bedroom, now we're going down to the, uh, the the living area. Okay. As you can see, the stairs are extremely narrow and difficult to walk down. Um, so we're now descending to the the third floor to the the living quarters, which is a slightly, probably the largest room in the tower. Right, here's the um, the living room. We've got a nice fireplace, good place to have a fire and stay warm and chilly uh, Northern Irish nights. Uh, this is kind of fun here. Let me show you this. So uh, the front door of the tower is just down there. As I mentioned before, the, the front door of the tower is just below this windowsill. Francis Turnley, who built the tower, installed what are known as murder holes which are openings where you can pour hot oil or hot tar down onto people below to prevent intruders from coming into the tower, prevent people from, from releasing the people who are imprisoned here. So I'm going to use this, uh, this box cutter to uh, flip open the trap door so we can see the, uh, the murder hole where hot oil would have been poured onto anybody, any potential tower intruders. So there's one trap door, and there's actually a second trap door up here. All right. So let me show you now. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you uh, where the hot oil would have been poured. So if, if there was anybody down there who I didn't want to have come in, I could just, uh, you know, dump dump tar on them. Um, but I won't do that. Because the people here, 
in the town of Cushendal are extremely nice, and I have no urge to pour hot oil or tar on any of them. So we have descended from the top of the tower through the fifth floor bedroom, fourth floor bedroom, third floor living quarters. Now we're gonna go. The only thing on the second story is a um, is the bathroom, which we'll skip over. You don't need to see Dr. Howard go to the bathroom. Uh, this is a, for the most part, family-friendly YouTube channel. So um, yeah, we're gonna go down uh, another level. Well, two more levels down to the bottom. So let's go. Okay, so here we go down the final two flights of stairs to the dungeon of the curfew tower. There's the bathroom. We won't be going in there. All right. This is the final flight of stairs down to the dungeon. Let me actually, um, let me change the camera settings so we can see a little bit more as we go down here. So it's going to be a little, uh, little grainy, but that's how we're going to see down here. So OK. So there it is, the dungeon of the curfew tower. As you can see, even though it's the middle of the day right now, it's pitch black down in the dungeon of the curfew tower where idlers and rioters would have been locked up by Francis Turnley. Next time on Alien Hour, I'm gonna show you the lockdown that I'm doing tonight in this dungeon. But today, just an introduction to the tower. So let me show you the last room, the kitchen. And soon we will return here to communicate with any spirits that may remain in the curfew tower. All right, this hallway leads to the kitchen and there's the kitchen a photo nice photo of the curfew tower and then um, here's the front door where we came in before And through here, we're back in the uh, back in the garden outside. All right, it's um, it's raining outside, so I'm gonna shoot. I was gonna shoot the outro in the garden, but it's raining right now. So thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Alien Hour. I hope that learning about the curfew tower was interesting, and that you will tune in next time to see my lockdown in the tower, and my attempts to communicate with the spirits of the idlers and the rioters who were once imprisoned here. I'm Dr. Howard, and I'll see you the next time it's Alien Hour.